Hi, hello and welcome to the first episode of Nutmeg Notes with Tejani. Uh, today I'm going to share my basic bread uh, with all of you. Uh, this is like uh, just an everyday bread that uh, I make almost like twice a week. Uh, it's really delicious and uh, it's nutritious as well. Uh, and all the uh, ingredients are quite simple, uh, available anywhere. So let's get started. Hi. So uh, let's get uh, started with the ingredients. Uh, I'm using. I mean, you can use either uh, the bread flour or you can use the plain flour, or it's also called all-purpose flour. Uh, this ingredient is available anywhere. Uh, so if you don't find bread flour, do this first. Uh, then some milk. Uh, in this recipe, I'm using milk, but if you do not find milk, you can also uh, you know, use plain water. So even plain water works really well. But I like uh, my bread, my everyday bread, to be slightly rich because uh, you know uh, I like to make sandwiches for the dipping and stuff like that for the kids. Uh, this ingredient really changes the texture of the bread as well. So I would recommend that you use full cream milk uh, at least the first time that you're making. Uh, now we have olive oil. Olive oil, make sure that there is no smell in it uh, because if there is a smell, then your entire bread is going to smell of that strong olive oil. So just try to get a, like a odorless olive oil. Uh, then, of course, yeast. This is the instant dry yeast. So, uh, we're gonna mix this uh, in either water or in milk. And take it from there. I use one egg. This is uh, optional. If you are a vegetarian, uh, then you can totally avoid this. But uh, this definitely helps with the texture of the bread. Um, it's not that every bread you make, you have to add egg. But uh, I have improvised this recipe and uh, I feel that it's really easy. The baking process just becomes really easy with the egg. But if you're a vegetarian, please leave it out. Then we have salt. This is uh, a very important ingredient. Because if you miss this one, your bread really won't taste good. Yeah, and then every time you have your filling or whatever you have to do, Add a little more extra salt and it just doesn't work. So make sure that you put at least one teaspoon of uh, salt in your bread uh, if you have roughly like uh, two cups uh, of flour. And then lastly sugar. Sugar is uh, quite important in the process of bread making because um, the yeast feeds on the sugar. If you don't put sugar then it's going to find sugar in your flour. So, uh, you know, you can add a little less sugar than what I do. I add about one tablespoon. Uh, it definitely gives a, a different flavor. It's a good flavor in your bread. So, that's up to you. But uh, this is an important ingredient in this recipe. Uh, so, let's get started. So, I have milk about one cup. I have added uh, one tablespoon of sugar. Then uh, I have just uh, made it lukewarm, warm enough uh, for the yeast to wake up, but not too hot. Because if it's too hot, then you're gonna kill the yeast. If it's too cold, then the yeast is not gonna wake up. So make sure that it's lukewarm. What is the test? You can just add your your finger in there and it should be comfortable. If it's comfortable for your finger, it's comfortable for the yeast to go in there. Okay? So, add the yeast and I'm giving it a stir. And I'm going to leave this 
the side for about five minutes. So see you soon. Yeah, so now after five minutes, you can see that the milk uh, has become frothy because uh, the yeast is has been feeding on the sugar and is awake now uh, to bake our bread. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bake one, uh, I'm going to break one egg. the dough is stepped up well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to gas it. That means remove all the gas that has formed inside the dough. Uh, this is the point uh, at which you shape your dough and then you put it in a red tin like this. Uh, once you shape and you put it in the tin, then you do not need it any longer. Uh, so I'm going to knead it. And then I'm going to put it in this tin and uh, cover it with a wet cloth and let it rest for another hour. In this hour, or actually uh, till it doubles uh, in size, so that's the indication that it's ready to be baked. Whether you know, sometimes in cold climate it may not uh, uh, double in size in an hour, so use your discretion. Uh, I'll cover it with a damp cloth uh, because uh, otherwise the top surface uh, it just dries out and uh, it just forms a very funny film on top so just to avoid that I'm going to muslin cloth is the best so just uh, uh, you know wet it and then remove all the water and then just cover it uh, and let it rest it doubles in size. So I have degassed the dough and uh, then I kneaded it for some time and then I folded it like a loaf of bread and this is how it looks at the moment. It's slipping because uh, this tray is greased and now I'm just going to take a little bit of olive oil, very little. my hand and uh, just uh, apply it on the top surface and this is the cloth I have this is a muslin cloth which I have wet it's clean and I'm going to cover it like that After an hour, and you can see that my bread is 
doubled in size. Uh, so now I'm going to bake it for roughly 45 minutes uh, on 160 degrees Celsius. And after the 45 minutes, I'm going to keep watching it. Um, maybe for another 5 to 10 minutes and our bread will be ready. See you later. Hi. So our finally our bread is ready. If you can see. It's soft and it's porous. And uh, let me tell you, this is really delicious. So give it a try and post your pictures uh, below the video. Uh, kindly like, follow and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much.